How do we calculate the value of A? That depends very much on the value of K minus L. Well, remember, K is an integer number. L is also an integer number. So there are actually only two possibilities that you can have for the value of K minus L. Only two possibilities. What are they? The first possibility you can have for K minus L is that it could be a multiple of capital N or not a multiple of capital N. That's the only two possibility you have. So let's look at both possibility. Case number one, possibility number one, we say, let's say suppose K minus L is a multiple integer of capital N, like I told you. For example, by that I mean K minus L is a multiple of capital N. In other words, M could be any integer, such as 0 or plus minus 1, plus or minus 2. So if K minus L is a multiple integer of N, then we can say K minus L is equal to M times N, which imply that K is equal to L plus M N. So this imply that. Okay? Now, in this case, if K minus L is a multiple integer of N, then what happened to equation 7? Well, let's take a look. Look at equation 7. You see? If K minus L is equal to the integer of capital N, the multiple integer of capital N, then you can see very clearly K minus L divided by capital N should be equal to small m. So in other words, if that is the case, then the ratio K minus L divided by N is the same thing as small m. And in that case then, equation 7 will become E raised to the power i m 2 pi times n. And that is exactly what I show you on the next slide, right here. You see, e raised to the power i m 2 pi n. Then, after that, we recognize the fact that you can use the so-called Euler identity, okay? So also use the so-called Euler identity. Euler identity, what does it say? It say basically uh, something like E raised to the power i x is equal to cosine of x plus i psi of x. So that e raised to the power i m 2 pi n using Euler identity, it will be expressed in terms of cosine and psi as I show you in equation 8. So now, let's take a look a little bit more. Let's see what happened. If you look carefully at equation 8, you will see that m is an integer, n is an integer. So a multiple of 2 pi, when you take the psi of that, psi of m and 2 pi will become 0. Because any multiple of 2 pi 
as long as the product f times n is an integer, the sign of that will be equal to zero. And furthermore, if m is an integer, n is an integer, then this term cosine of mn times 2 pi is always equal to 1. And because that value equal to 1 is repeated n time because of this summation. So what you have is just like 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 n time because of this summation. Therefore, the summation of that one now become capital N. So now you have A equal to capital N as indicated in equation 9. So this is the situation when K minus L is a multiple integer of capital N. That's case 1. Now let's take a look at case number 2. Well, K number 2, we're talking about K minus L.